father is defending his son tonight. He wants to set the record straight about what happened at a West Dallas convenience store last month. His son, 16-year-old Corey Stingley, ended up dying. Our Tammy Hughes is live at the store tonight with a story that we haven't heard before. Tammy. Yeah, Craig Stingley said he wants to set the record straight and clear up some misinformation, he says, surrounding his son's death. He does admit that his son, Corey, tried to shoplift from VJ's Food Mart, which you see right behind me back on December 14th. But Mr. Stingley says that his son had returned those items, and it's when he was trying to leave that three men attacked him, he says, and killed his son. The word of God tells me to know the truth, and the truth will set me free. Craig Stingley says he wants to be set free from the stress associated with the lies surrounding the death of his son, Corey. Corey was a 16 year old student at Nathan Hale High School involved in football and cross country. But on December 14th, Craig Stingley admits his son tried taking items from VJ's Food Mart. A source told Fox 6 it was a pocket sized bottle of alcohol. But Stingley says three customers then took his son's life. These three adult male customers. Took it upon themselves to become judge, jury, and executioner. Stingley says Corey agreed to return the merchandise, and it was when his son was trying to leave the store that three customers violated his son's civil rights, he says, by not allowing him to leave and attacking him. In a chokehold, headlock by one defendant, both legs held by a second defendant, and his left arm stood upon. By the third defendant for approximately 20 minutes. When paramedics arrived, Corey wasn't breathing. They were able to revive him, but he suffered severe brain damage. Craig Stingley and other family members made the difficult decision to take their son off of life support on December 29th, a decision this father says he never should have had to make. Corey Stingley was not just simply restrained, but the life was literally choked from his body. Because of the actions of all three adult men. A person who told us they were working inside the store, in fact, they said they were the clerk the night of this incident, said that Corey tried to jump over the counter and get his debit card, and that some of the customers in the store thought that Corey was trying to jump the clerk at the time. This case has been handed over to the district attorney's office. I talked to a spokesperson with them today, and they told me it will probably take several more weeks for a decision on charges. Reporting live, in West Dallas, I'm Tammy Hughes, Fox 6 News. A big honor for.